talking about hair. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my hair and how I box color it, how I get it this color. I get tons of questions a lot about how I color my hair, what do I use, how do I maintain it, how do I make it look what the way I do. So it was time for me to box color my hair and I figured that I would show you guys exactly what I use. So let's just jump in and I will show you guys what I so do. The first thing you're going to need is a hairbrush and mine's obviously dirty um, and then just um, any black clips. I prefer black so that they don't stain. Some oil, you can use argon oil or baby oil, whatever tickles your fancy, and your box color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush out my hair and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up. I'm going to take half of it up right around my crown. I'm going to take that part up and then I'm going to clip it. Then taking the rest of my hair, I'm just going to part it into two sections and then clip the other one of those sections. I'm going to start um, with that first section and as you guys can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of argon oil and that's just to keep the color from staining my face. I've used baby oil, I've used just any type of oil will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right at the root and I'm just going to build it um, and kind of just push it in there. Then once I get done um, doing that section, I kind of lift it up and then I continue going in and doing the roots all the way down. Then after I get done doing that, I'm just going to let my hair down and then I'm just going to start pouring it. Make sure you have a towel on the floor because this will get really messy. That's why I have a really dirty shirt. Um, if you guys box color your hair, you guys know you have like a specific shirt that you use to always color your hair. So I'm just going to start working that into my hair and making sure I really get it right at the root and also all the way through to the um, ends of my hair. Then I'm going to move on, just kind of fast forwarding it, and over to the crown. This is the most important part because to me this is where everybody's going to honestly see your hair. So I spent a lot of time really digging and getting that color right into my roots and also onto the ends of my hair. I really want to make sure I get that everything in there because if you guys have ever box colored your hair and missed a spot, you guys feel like everybody can see it. Also, make sure you get the back of your head like right at the nape of your neck. I've uh, failed to do this before and it can turn out really bad. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going and massaging my hair with whatever box color I have left on my hand and then I'm going to throw it up in a clip. I had a little bit of box color left so what I did was I just started um, pouring it right on top and then massaging it right into the um, ends of my hair. Then once you get done doing that we're going to wait just a little bit of time. I wait about 30 or 45 minutes. So once your color is done and ready to come out, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to be using my Pureology Hydrate Shampoo. Then I'm going to go in with my Deep Repair Mask by Macadamia. And then obviously I'm going to wash my body. I've been loving this Olay Fresh Outlast. And I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to do all the normal stuff that I do. Once I get done, I just kind of wring out my hair. And you will get a little bit of box color possibly. So just make sure that your towel is obviously a towel that you don't mind that if it stains, it is what it is. So as you guys can see, I pretty much have done my hair care routine. I do have a full video on how I get my hair super shiny and straight, which I will link below if you guys want to see how I blow dry it and straighten it and all that jazz. I'm just going in with a little bit of Moroccan oil and I'm just going to put that right on the ends. And this is just going to help, um, I don't know, make it shiny and healthy. And then it also helps kind of tame away any flyaways that I have. So that is pretty much how I color my hair. Obviously, as you guys can see, my makeup and everything look different because I filmed this this past weekend. Um, I guess the first thing is, is that what you guys see right now is a little bit darker than what you guys might typically see. Um, depending on the lighting, my hair, the box color that I use for my hair has a reddish tint to it. So in the shade, it might look brown. And then once you guys get into the light or if I'm in a certain lighting, my hair will look red. I like to wait when I do my hair. I personally love to do my hair about every four months. So I like it so that the color fades and then that reddish tint stays in. So I know some of you guys throughout my videos, you guys will say, did you do something to your hair? Did you color it? No, it's just that that color has faded off so bad that the reddish has kind of stayed. That's the kind of technique that I use. I know you're supposed to color your hair like every six to eight weeks. Um, obviously, if you have some gray hair, 
uh, then you guys might need to do it more often and then I would probably recommend that you use something a little bit more red now my hair took really well initially because I used to be like a dirty brunette blonde um, and so when I first initially box colored my hair to like a reddish brown it took that red really really well sorry my allergies are really bad so my nose is running and it's itching and oh, Terrible. Um, I do think that you can get really good box color out of your hair. Don't be unrealistic and think that you're a brunette and you can go to a blonde using box color because it's probably not going to work out for you. I would then say go to a hairstylist. But if you have hair like mine where I'm naturally a dark, like naturally my hair is darker. So it's easier for me to play around with like red tones and brown tones and different types of those colors rather than a blonde color. If I'm going to go blonde, then I'm obviously going to go to a hairstylist because I don't want that brassy orange look to my hair. Now, if you guys have blonde hair or you guys have blonde streaks in your hair and you guys want to go like red or brown, that I've done before and that works out really well. I, like I said, I use box color. The one thing that I do recommend though is because your blonde is going to a dark brown, um, maybe leaving on the product a little bit longer. I know that it says that you only leave it on for like 30 minutes. I typically leave mine on for about 40 to 45 minutes. That's just what I do. Um, I'm not a hairstylist or anything, so before somebody comments on here and says, this is not what you do, this isn't how you do it, whatever. This is what I do, this is what I've done for the past couple years. My head is, my hair is on my head. It works out just fine. The one other thing that I have found that has helped my hair a lot is I stopped coloring it like blonde because I used to be like um, I used to do blonde highlights a lot and that obviously if you are a brunette or you're a blonde if you're a brunette or you're even like a semi brunette who wants to go blonde you guys know that is so damaging to your hair especially if you're not a natural blonde um, and the one thing that I have found is that that really damaged my hair and it really kept it from growing and I know it sucks because I would love to have like blonde highlights in my hair but on the flip side, I would rather have long hair and healthy hair than damaged hair and short hair. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions about any other questions about my hair or anything, let me know. And I will go ahead and make sure to uh, answer it down below. Otherwise than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.